Now, the government is in the process of engaging investors from the U.S. to invest in the production of smartphones in Kenya and accelerate the digital inclusion agenda for micro, small and medium enterprises. Um, Information, Communication, Technology and Digital Economy Principal Secretary, that is Engineer John Tanui, says Kenya currently has locally produced 2.6 million smartphones over the last two years against a local demand of 15 million smartphones a year. Kenya is eyeing investors for the United States to invest in the large-scale production of smartphones. It is approximated that the country at the moment has 66 million smartphones, with the demand continuing to grow. To accelerate the digital inclusion agenda for MSMEs, Kenya requires 15 million smartphones a year. To further promote local assembly of smartphones and uh, other electronic and electrical devices, the government is developing a regulatory framework, uh, which we are calling the tax procedure and assembled electro electronic components regulations, which are at an advanced stage uh, of making to support and boost manufacturing and assembly of these products. Engineer Tanui, who was speaking during the Smartphone for Africa Summit in Nairobi, says the government is pushing for the enhancement of locally sourced products to catalyze the large-scale manufacturing of smartphones. We were able to get Kenya designated as a technology partner to the U.S. and also to be able to enable our private sector and the country to access the CHIPS Act of the U.S. We just need to make that a reality and operationalize and as a country we were the first in the continent to achieve that level and it lays the foundation we've seen stl in uh, tetan kimati uh, savannah semiconductors we've seen the electronics m copper speakers during the ongoing summit emphasized on the need to leverage the africa continental free trade area to maximize the potential in boosting regional trade as it pushes for reduction of imports from other nations outside the african continent frederick Mwoki for prime edition